Hey guys, it's Lou. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming an update to my samples project. This is a project I started just to clear out some samples from my collection so they weren't getting all cluttered and filling my drawers. And during the last few weeks I have been talking to the lovely Jen from Glam Mums. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about but if you don't please jump down below, check out her channel and say hi from me. And we were in discussion about doing a project together, uh, something sort of fun, and Jen advised that she wanted to get rid of some samples in her collection. I told her about this project and now she's decided to join in. I am super excited to have her on board. Um, she's absolutely amazing. I've been watching her beyond me having this channel started. So I hope you guys really enjoy her channel. Please do jump across and share some love. But for now, we're doing an update date to uh, update an update to the samples project. I have finished off nine samples. I am so excited and I'm all, of course going to roll some more in so I keep it going. But let's run through the ones I finished quickly and then we'll run through some newbies. So firstly I finished off these two project that blah 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 blah, blah prior um they're not primer foundation samples from Hourglass. These are the Vanish Seamless Finish Stick Foundation samples. They had three little shades like that inside them. I did finish both. Super exciting. I liked it. It wore quite nice. I think it was a little bit dark, the colours that came in here, but the foundation itself felt quite nice on the skin, so I might have to check it out. I finished a cleanser sample. Oops from Youth to the People. This was a cleanser that I put in this project because I really wanted to check this brand out. It's a brand that I wouldn't mind picking up some stuff from. So this is the Kale, Green Tea, Spinach and Vitamins Cleanser. It was lovely. It smells really good. I can still smell it. It smells just really clean and sort of organic smelling. I loved it. Another cleanser that I finished was from QB. This is the Intensive um, Moisturising Cleanser. That's it there. It was just a little a baby bottle. I had used this one before when I was on Rakutan because it's just really gentle and nice. Even though it says intensive, it's actually really gentle and lovely on the skin. So I really did enjoy using this sample. And QB is a brand that I frequently buy. So I loved it. From Sephora, I used this moisturizing, refreshing body jelly. Uh, that's it there. This was alright. I actually didn't mind it as a body jelly. I was just putting it on my arms to be fair because it's quite cold here so I wasn't doing my legs or anything. Uh, it was really nice. A little bit sticky. Sort of borderline too sticky. So I probably wouldn't purchase a full size but I didn't mind having the sample to give it a go. Two MAC products that I finished. The first is the Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base. I really enjoyed this, however I think it was lightening my foundation. I know that sounds very strange, but every time I wore this primer, uh, my foundation just looked a bit, little bit pale and I don't know, so I really didn't, I didn't love it. It's probably not something I'd repurchase. The other one from MAC was the strobe cream. This is in pink light. Um, I liked this. I don't think it did a great deal, to be completely honest. I don't think it was very um, illuminating or anything under my foundation. But again, it was nice to give something a go without purchasing the full size. So that was good. From my new favourite brand, this is from GoTo Beauty. Uh, this is the Face Hero Oil. This brand's now sold at Mecca. I really, really loved this face oil like love loved. I've got a little tiny vial in like a mini that I picked up in another little sample pack sort of thing. Really enjoyed this. Like it's going on my purchase list straight away as soon as I finish that little vial. It's so nice. And the last one, I'm going to set the basket down. Ugh. The last one in here was from La Mer. This is the moisturizing cream. That's it there. It's just like a little pot. You can see that I've scooped it all out. I really loved this and then I looked up the price tag. <laughs> um, it's a really nice cream, really luxurious, really lovely feeling. It sinks in straight away. It's not heavy or greasy or anything. Doesn't leave like a film on your skin, but uh, there is no way I would pay that giant price tag for a face cream. However, if I see a sample again, I'm for sure picking it up. Now, I've picked out some more samples that I want to pop in to this project. I have picked three foundation samples just to 
try something different. So the first is from Sephora. This is the Sephora Collection Glow Perfecting Foundation. So it comes with two shades there. It comes with beige and sand. So I'll give this a go. It sounds nice. I, I like lower foundations lately, so this should be good. I also picked the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation, which I've never tried. So there's quite a few different shades there. I'm probably going to be able to use maybe these three here uh, before it gets a little bit dark, but then I could lighten it easy. But I'm really excited to give this one a go. Another foundation, this one is from when I was at Mechaland. It's just like a little sample tub we were given. This is of the NARS, I believe. It's the Radiant Foundation. That's it there. So it's just like a little tub. It's actually got quite a lot in it though. So it should last a few uses. So I thought I would pop that one in. Uh, next category we'll do is primers. So I picked quite a few primers. I'm in a bit of a primer kick lately. I love trying them and trying new things under my foundations. So first we've got two from Too Faced. This is the Hangover Primer. So we'll pop these ones in. I also have one from Ole Henderson, Hendrickson. This is the Banana Bright Face Primer. This one I'm really excited to try. I love the eye cream. I've tried like a little sample thing of it and I really did enjoy it. So I'm really excited to try this one. This one's from Tarte. This is a quench primer. It's a hydrating primer base. It's just like a little tiny tube. Uh, it's got three mils in it, so it really shouldn't last that long. But I thought I would give this one a go as well. And the final primer in here is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Wonder Glow. That's the front there. And then it's got the little pouch on the back. Very excited to give this a go as well. I've seen people raving about this as well as the Magic Cream, which I also have a sample of, but I haven't rolled it in just yet. But we're, we're going to pop this one in. And then the last two samples that I have decided to add in. One is from Suzanne Kaufman. Kaufman? Kaufman? I haven't heard of this brand before, but I got it as a sample. I cannot remember where from. And this is a, a body butter. It's just like a little satchel. It's got eight mils in it. So yeah, I thought I'd give this one a go. I think it could have been maybe in a mecca order, I think. But yeah, we thought we'd pop in a body butter. And then the last thing is from Pl Pl Plunkett's NS. This is a working hands intensive hand cream. I think I got this in my last Bella box from memory. So I thought I would give this one a go as well. They're actually, uh, NS is actually a brand that does some of my really favourite products. So I thought I would give this hand cream a go and pop it in. So guys, that is my update for my samples project. I'm so excited to have Jen on board. As I said, please, please jump across, say hi from me and check her channel out. I'll have her video and her channel linked down below, of course. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.